Hello, my name is Sarah Evanson, and my colleague Jonathan Engel and I will be presenting our work on Teddy, an interactive text analytics tool. This research was conducted at Megagon Labs, together with Shang Zhang of University of Rochester, and our colleagues Chatai Demerol, Yuliang Li, and Wang Chu Tan. Reviews are integral to e-commerce services and products. They are a powerful distributed representation of a service or product and can provide reliable signals about how to improve them. But working with thousands, millions, or billions of reviews, which are typically noisy, incomplete text, is a daunting task. So we conducted a user study to better understand the current methods and limitations of this type of work. In interviews with 15 data scientists who work with review text, we found that many could benefit from interactive systems for review analysis tasks. In response, we introduced Teddy, an interactive system that enables data scientists to quickly obtain insights from reviews and improve their extraction and modeling pipelines. In this presentation, we will first outline the findings from our user study and then provide a demonstration of the tool we created to address the bottlenecks we found. We interviewed 15 participants, 12 male and 3 female, all of whom were employed in technology companies with the task of analyzing review data. Although the sample size is small, because we focus on a specific domain with low workflow variation, we believe that these findings are valuable. Here's what we learned. Most of the time, Data scientists are satisfied using existing language models such as BERT. They're less concerned about developing new models, and instead they're focused on improving the quality of their training data. Many interviewees voiced that the quality of the training data was at least as important, if not more, than the type of model used. Similar to findings from our earlier work, we observed a dichotomy between the senior and the junior data scientists. For example, Pipeline management and provenance is an important concern motivated by the cost of context switching among senior data scientists. On the other hand, junior data scientists are more concerned about data labeling and crowdsourcing as bottlenecks. Division of work between senior and junior data scientists is perhaps only one aspect of the dichotomy here. Unsurprisingly, data scientists spend most of their time on data preparation lending further support for the currently accepted, but not necessarily acted upon wisdom. We find that the most time-consuming or challenging data preparation steps in review mining are, however, labeling, designing and specifying crowdsourcing tasks, and interactive exploration, but not necessarily data cleaning. Finally, and most surprisingly, participants did not report scalability to be a significant bottleneck even those who regularly work with very large review collections. They often resorted to sampling and were content with that. Informed by these insights and our own experience, along with prior data exploration paradigms, we derived five design considerations for the Teddy prototyping system. One, users should be able to explore, inspect, and compare clusters of review text based on the semantic similarity as determined by opinions and topics within the reviews. Two, users should be able to explore domain-specific aspects of reviews as defined by the domain that they are working in. Three, they should be able to programmatically control the data displayed. In particular, the prototype should support sorting, filtering, and pattern matching on the raw text or extracted features. Four, they should be able to get an overview of the reviews from all the entities or from a single entity. And five, users should be able to zoom in and out of the data visually and semantically in a multi-scale fashion, accessing details for entities and reviews on demand. Now my colleague Jonathan Engel will show us the tool in action. Hello, my name is Jonathan Engel and I'll be walking through the demo portion of this presentation. Let's say that we're a data scientist working at a company that owns several hotel properties assigned to identify insights about the performance of these various properties by assessing reviews of those hotels on TripAdvisor. Now let's say that we've already developed an algorithm that can identify opinions and text data, and we've applied that to our data set, which we've now loaded into our web app. 
First things first, let's look at the summary statistics for the data set as a whole. Now we've got about 5,000 reviews and we can see here various measurements of the average lengths of these reviews either in characters, words, or sentences. Looking further down, we can also see the top words and top bigrams for the data set. Somewhat surprisingly for a data set about hotels, hotel and room are very common. And we also see a lot of bigrams related to San Francisco, which makes sense because that's uh, where a lot of these hotels are. Now, uh, scrolling down further, uh, we can also see uh, the average attributes that were extracted with that algorithm that I mentioned earlier. And we can see that, in general, people seem to have a pretty positive opinion of these hotels. Uh, and in particular, uh, uh, seem to have a good opinion of the staff, and then also have some positive opinions about the location, food, and facilities uh, of these hotels. Now let's draw our attention to the actual clustering view of uh, this app. Uh, and we can see here that on the right we have this cluster that is both larger than the other clusters and also has a different shade. It has a shade that's sort of verging on gray, uh, which would indicate that its sentiment overall is more neutral. If it were red, uh, that would indicate a negative overall sentiment. Uh, so let's click on it and see a bit more of what we can find here. And we see uh, that our general sentiment has taken a pretty significant hit uh, over the uh, prior data set, and that in particular uh, our evaluation of staff seems to have dropped. Um, it will also, uh, meanwhile, location, food, and facility evaluations seem to be roughly corresponding to the same uh, degree as earlier. But if we look upward uh, at the bigrams and top words, those are roughly the same. Uh, now, you can also see, now that we clicked on the cluster, a bunch of text appeared on the right. Now, each of these text blurbs corresponds to a review, and we can see that we've highlighted opinions extracted by the algorithm in either blue or red, uh, depending on the associated sentiment uh, that was detected. Now, if we go ahead and click on uh, these reviews, uh, it, uh, we can expand them and see the full text. Uh, however, we're interested in seeing what's going on with these negative staff reviews. So let's actually filter uh, this list uh, to only show us reviews that have the staff uh, attribute extracted. Uh, now, we, when we first run this, this is going to be only over the reviews that were visible. However, if we want to run it over the full backend, we can then click this button, wait a few seconds, and there we see uh, we have a lot of reviews, and as predicted, they have a negative opinion uh, of staff. Now, if we go back to the other clusters and compare them side by side, uh, we can actually see how their attributes line up, and we see that they have a uh, higher staff score, as could be predicted. Uh, as well as a significantly higher overall general, general sentiment. Um, however, we're interested in drilling down further to see what's going on with these negative reviews. So let's click on this big cluster and see the subclusters that are associated with it. Now, we can see much like the uh, previous uh, uh, setup that here we, again we have uh, two more positive small clusters and one larger, uh, more negative cluster. So let's drill down again on this negative cluster. Um, and we can see here that the scale has significantly zoomed in. So even though staff is reaching all the way to the first line, uh, this is actually 0.00001 um, positive, percent, uh, positive sentiment value. Um, so, uh, meanwhile, facility seems to be disproportionately high for this one, so let's zoom down a bit further, uh, see what else we can find. Again, we have most of our negative cluster, uh, or most of our negative reviews in this larger cluster, uh, and here we, we see that, uh, the staff, uh, negative staff reviews have been placed into this cluster by our algorithm. Um, from here, uh, we can also see that this, there seems to be some uh, correspondence with negative facility score as well. If we drill down further, we see actually we can't further subcluster. Uh, so we're pretty much done with this vertical. Um, however, let's say that if instead of being asked to survey the data set as a whole, we were actually instructed to just assess one hotel. Uh, uh, say, the uh, first hotel that we have up here, uh, which is the Hotel Drisco. 
Now, if we load this cluster, uh, we or uh, we have a very similar interface, but we're only looking at reviews corresponding to this hotel. Now, here we see that there's generally positive sentiments overall, um, and if we are to look again at the most negative largest cluster, uh, we see uh, and drill down on it, we see that very quickly there's a large uh, neutral cluster that again has a uh, low staff sentiment, uh, which seems to be correlating with low facility and low uh, overall general sentiments here. So there's maybe a trend that we're seeing here that negative opinions rarely come alone, they come together uh, with other uh, attributes. Uh, but looking up, let's try to find some good things about this. Like, what were people thinking about, uh, say, the restaurants in this uh, subset? So we can use a grep tool that's built into this um, and search for a uh, restaurant regardless of capitalization. Uh, and we see a few results uh, seem to be generally positive ones. Um, let's see what else uh, we can find here. Let's try looking up breakfast uh, and see what shows up. Uh, and we can see here, uh, if we click on them, we'll actually see matches highlighted, uh, that we have some very happy customers when it comes to the quality of breakfast at these hotels. This concludes the demo portion of this presentation. We believe that in developing the Teddy Review Explorer, we have created a tool that can help data scientists more quickly explore and understand new data sets of review text, addressing key bottlenecks identified in our user study. For future work, we intend to continue developing Teddy by adding even more metrics and visualizations for analysis, adding built-in classification algorithms, and expanding to cover other types of text data in addition to reviews.